All right, guys, I'm using this Metal Blast. I know there's a couple brands out there, like Pickle Juice, Metal Blast. And I'm trying to do is clean this master cylinder. You see all the rust. So I did the backside, and look how clean this is coming up. So I soaked the backside, and with a little wire brush, I'm brushing off the metal. And you'll see just real gently that that rust. Sorry about that. That rust will come off. So you see it there. Just keep working it. And what's nice about this instead of grinding it is you're not taking off a lot of deep metal. It's really just working the rust off. Maybe some grease off. So what I'm doing is soaking it for a little bit, even the bolts, soaking it, coming back, brushing it, soaking it, brushing it, and it's come up really clean. So what this is here, this is a master brake cylinder on a 1978 Volkswagen Beetle. It was pretty rusty and... Um, a lot of grease on it, corrosion, and I want to save it if I can, this piece. It's not a money thing, it's more just keeping what was there on the car. And I just keep working one side, turn it over, and work the other side. And what I'll probably do at the end, I'll find the original picture I took of this when I took it off the car um, you'll see how bad it was The neat thing, you see when I'm brushing that rust is, rust is coming off. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's nice and gentle. One side, then the other. One side, then the other. The other side was easier to clean because it's flatter. Turn the other side. But I think this stuff really works well. I've done it on some other parts with this Restore. Uh, after I'm done, I clean it with some acetone and I paint it with some good oil-based tractor store rust preventative paint. And it looks like it might be holding up pretty well. So what I'll do, I'm gonna let this soak. We're going to turn off the camera and periodically when I touch base and I come back and I flip it or clean it, I'll, I'll get some more videos and then I'll combine all the videos together so you can see the progress. I mean, it's really, it's really quite nice. Starting to see some of that clean, clean metal come through the rust without really grinding off a lot of metal. I'm even going to try to save those sensors. I know that sounds weird, but you don't know. If those sensors work, why not? Very simple pressure sensors telling us brake pressure, brake line, fluid levels. Not bad. So... Let me let this sit. What would be cool is if this was in a foam form, like that foam just sat up there instead of running off. But I like it so far. Better than grinding, getting all the rust in your mouth and metal. I mean, there's a time for grinding, but this part's probably worth saving. I know when I push the plunger in there, 
it moved pretty well. I do have the plunger down here somewhere as well, soaking. So that plunger soaking as well. That's coming up pretty clean. I didn't wire brush that yet. So we're gonna let this soak. I have a new one just in case, but I'm gonna try saving the old one. So sometimes it's better to save the original parts. All right, let's check back on this master cylinder that I'm cleaning. A little bushing too I'm gonna to clean. I wish I can mount my camera, but yeah, we'll let that soak in there. So this isn't looking too bad. Let's spray some uh, Not looking so bad. See how clean it's coming. So every time you open it up, you turn it, scrub off some rust, and this thing is gonna look brand new. You can tell. All the bolts are gonna look new. Then we treat it. So let's open it up, scrub the rust off, turn it. Scrub the rust off, turn it, and this thing's going to look really good. And it's just amazing. So I give this rust bullet, the pickle juice, all that stuff, a thumbs up. This is going to look really nice when I'm done. Uh, so let me turn off the camera. I'm going to scrub some of this rust spot off. I'm going to scrub these rust spots out, and uh, you'll see the next phase of this as I keep Guys, cleaning it. I don't even think it's an hour later and I've been slowly turning and scrubbing the rust off this thing with that rust reformer, rust bullet, rust reformer or pickle juice or go by different names here <coughs> and I am really impressed. Let me pull this thing up. Let's see if I can just hold it up here. And I'm going to spray it off just to let you guys see what's going on with this damn thing, how clean it is. I mean, this is really clean. The, even the sensors are coming up. The sensor leads are real clean in the holes. I mean, let me try to spray out one of these holes for you guys. See if we can get that hole sprayed out. But these holes are real clean. The bolts are real clean. I mean, I can't. I can't say how much I really respect how this works. I mean, this is crazy. Look how clean this thing is. The bolts all came up clean. The threads came up clean. I mean, sure, there's some pitting from rust but i i cannot believe how clean this thing came out so what i'm going to do i'm going to take off these sensors in this bolt and clean in there probably spray some some of it through the um, master cylinder and see what comes out um, and i'll film a little bit more in a bit So I took the brake fluid sensors out, and they don't look bad. I'm going to scrub them with the wire brush. That's one of them. I'm going to scrub them with the wire brush. Both uh, those holes and these sensors, and we'll see if I can get all the rust off them. It'd be amazing if they work. Here's the other brake fluid sensor. I'm going to scrub that up and see with this pickle juice rust reformer rust bullet stuff if we can get it clean all right so we're back using this pickle juice this rust bullet this rust reformer this rust metal cleaner uh 
stuff on the 1978 VW Super Beetle convertible master cylinder. And I want to show you why I think it's worth saving stuff. I don't know if, uh, if you saw this piece but uh, uh, earlier in the video, but uh, I'll try to find a, a video of when I took it off the car. But this is why I think we should save pieces instead of buy, buy new replacement. Because you see right here, right, right where my thumb is, that says VW. Um, that's probably an original part on this car. And if I was to replace that, uh, I'd lose that heritage. Um, so this was really rusted, really pitted. And just by a little bit of wire brushing and that metal bullet or pickle juice, it's working good. Pickle juice is a brand. Got a little rust in there. I'm going to get that out. But this thing looks really clean. Um, I know it's hard for you to see because of the foam, but it is really, really clean. These are those sensors. Still a little dirty there, but the outside clean. Here's the other one. Really clean. I don't know if they'll work. It doesn't matter. They're cheap to replace, but I'm going to try to replace them. And even this little, I guess you call this a bleed, uh, bolt or bleed screw we're using that look how clean that came up so the question now I'm gonna dry it off clean it with some acetone and paint it with something probably some uh, some type of um, tractor store uh, epoxy paint all right uh, I'll let you know what that looks all right like. guys so here's the master cylinder for the VW all cleaned painted and hanged Look how clean it came out. So, can't wait to see that on the car. That rust uh, bullet, that pickle juice, that stuff works.